Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. So, finally, I've been able to get out and scratch that itch. Those of you that follow the channel will know that I've recently had an operation and as part of that I've not been able to get out and about for what seems like forever and uh, I still can't carry the camera bag but I'm out, I'm able to walk around and as long as I don't do anything stupid I'm fine. Uh, I'll not go into the details of what all the operation is about, I think that's just a bit too much too much information to give but uh, the main thing is, is that um, I'm back out and about and that's what matters to me. Now the fact that I've not got my camera isn't a problem because I've brought my phone along and if you watch this channel regularly you know that I rarely talk about equipment, it's all about um, the creative side, finding the images and, uh, and taking the images is what I really love. Um, my phone hasn't got any fancy apps on it and I'm certainly not going to be doing any comparison shots with, with a, a pro camera like you often see on YouTube. It, it literally is, for me, it's just about being out, enjoying this and looking for those little golden nuggets. Now I'm not going to pretend that um, I can get the same quality standard of images that I can get with my, my main camera. Um, things like focus stacking and stuff like that. I haven't even got a tripod today other than what this little video camera is on. So it's just going to be point and shoot and like I said just concentrating on the creative side and looking for those little nuggets in amongst this woodland. So let's see what we can find. Do you know, I thought my glasses were steaming up. Can you see it? There's a little bit of fog. I don't know whether it comes through on the camera. I'll just spin that round. There is a little bit of fog in the air. But I'm not convinced it's going to make any difference from a photographic perspective. I don't think it's going to be thick enough, but uh, nice anyway. What I'm noticing as I'm walking through the woods is that clearly we're in the middle of winter and um, everything on the ground, we've had a lot of rain recently and everything on the ground is, is sodden, wet through and what I haven't got um, with me or available to use is a polarizer. So I'm having to adjust the things that I'm considering as photographic potential that aren't affected by that or can be complemented by a wet surface. Um, not easy because I'd normally just put a polarizer on and have that option available to me. So I've, I've already found a constraint to not having my camera gear with me, but I'm not going to let that put me off at all. It's, uh, it's so lovely to be out here. So I'm going to have to eat my words a little bit. I was saying before that the reflective surfaces might cause me some trouble. Um, but actually, I think they may be helping in this instance, and I never thought I would see the day when I photograph rhododendron, but there's really quite a nice pattern picture here. Let me just put this on screen record, so you can see what I'm looking at. So, can you see these two here? They're what have interested me, um, those leaves there, because they're, they're a different colour, obviously, to the ones behind, and the ones behind allow for where the, where the ends of the leaves are to fill those gaps so we're not looking through to the, the woodland floor. And what I quite like the looks of is when you go in closer, put that on two, two times magnification, you can see that you've got this arc here that's really making a nice line through the frame and that's echoed by this one up here. I'm going to go a little bit more closer than that to go to about there and I really quite sorry about it, it's a bit shaky that's the problem I haven't got any stabilizer on my phone I'm going close there and just focus on that spot and then let's take the image now nope let's grab another one there how does that look? A little bit of uh, assistance in Photoshop and I think that'll look quite nice. I'll put that on now.
So I found another shot and ordinarily this would have been so easy with my normal camera and tripod but um, I've just been trying to get a shot of it first. Uh, I find it useful to at least line it up um, before I go on camera just to make sure that I'm happy with it and I've really struggled to get a sharp image and um, it's quite close up and there's lots of vibration but if I just switch that on you can see recording now you can see this leaf here I love the way that it's decaying into the birch log behind it and the veins are really beautiful and I'm going to take a shot now I'm going to switch this video camera over to the stills camera and I'm just going to line it up and take a shot Now I'm not guaranteeing that the one I take at this moment in time will be sharp because like I say it took me about 10 goes to get it right and obviously we've got light reflecting off the surface as well but it's a it's a lovely sorry it's a lovely um it's a lovely shape let me just go over to camera so back on camera and uh, what i what i want to do is i want to exclude this area just here that's a bit messy i'm all right with this top bit but i'm going to focus in this central area just here now if i line that up start to go in you can see that I'm starting to exclude that bottom bit now now I'm going to put that on two times I'm actually going to go in closer than that and that's not a million miles away from the position I just don't like that ripped bit at the bottom and that's really shaping up into something quite nice now if I darken it down as well it really brings that nice grey look out of the shot and I'm going to sharpen it up like I said just, just turn that down a bit not easy when you when you tap on the foam it goes back to auto exposure and I think if I tap there it's going to do the same again and I'm trying to sharpen it and get the exposure right at the same time so it's not easy a bit of a wrestling match but there is where I quite like it so I'll take that now and hopefully that last shot will work out. If not, the one that I took a few minutes ago will certainly uh, suffice. So I'll put that on there. There's certainly something nice about being free from all that weight. Right, now it's funny because when you're really in that creative place you almost think that anything is possible and that's a good way to be because you'll try literally anything and that's what I feel like I'm doing today. Um, there are days when I'm not feeling quite so creative and I probably wouldn't give this a second thought, but there's something that's, that's caught my eye today that's really making me feel that there's potentially a chance here. The one doubt I have is that finding that coherence, I do think that whilst I'll be able to darken the brown leaves down sufficiently enough that they're not obvious, I, I just think the green ones, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna struggle to find something that, that, that hangs as, a, as an image. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna, um, there's, there's one or two sticks and I'm just going to move those out of the way because they're really going to be distractions. They've got very, very pale, pale, almost orange branches on them. You just see here, very pale and they just really pick out on the camera and I don't want that. So I want to get rid of as many of them as possible because they will really stand out as, as strong as the, um, as the light leaves will. So we'll get rid of most of those. There's a big area over here that probably needs to go as well. That one probably needs to go. Now then, how's that looking? Right, let's get on the phone. Let's um, put this down to uh, screen record again. And there we have that. And there we have what I'm seeing. So I think if I'm up here, you can see that 
probably the leaves are just too numerous so it's a case of going in a little bit close maybe not that far and finding a point where the leaves are just a nice size in the frame um, where you get just a nice distribution of them throughout now as you can see you can see all the brown um, there as well now which is a problem but as I darken that the backs of those leaves really pick out and if I go too far obviously they become too too dark the green so I've got to get that critical point which is about there where I can then selectively pick the darker leaves out at the computer hopefully I can do that with this file I'm not using raw or anything here and then just darken those sections if you just look there you can see one of those orange leaves that I, stems that I was talking about they really stand out so I'll move that and um, darken that down again yeah could be pushing it here a little bit but you never know if you don't try you don't succeed tilt the camera back a little bit is it like if I go up higher? Let's take, it's a bit too heavy on that, that left hand side here. There are a bit too many. I quite like the distribution that I've got there. Take that quickly. Yeah, not 100% sure. Let's try one more. You can really see though when I reduce that exposure just how much of an effect that has. Look at that one there, that really needs to go. And, and that leaf over there it makes it too obvious what, what it is that you're looking at from the outset. And the whole point of the exercise is to, is to, is to confuse the viewer when they first see it. It's going to have to go, so I can't exclude it. Uh, let's go something like Something like that. And there we have it. A third one in the bag. I'm not sure, <laughs> really not sure about that, but there's something definitely appealing about it. And, I, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that what you've seen on the back of the, the camera there as I was as explaining it, you can see what I was getting at. So if it works, I will put that on now. Now let's be brutal about this. The shot really hasn't worked, has it? although the idea I feel is still something worth pursuing. The lack of coherence is what it has mostly fallen short on. There needs to be a more pleasing pattern, something that is easy on the eye, whereas this is clearly quite cluttered. On my way back to the van, with this image still in my mind, I came across a similar situation with holly leaves in amongst decaying leaf litter, but this time the result was somewhat better. The image has still not realised fully my vision, but it's better than before and I consider it to be work in progress. So I realise that I've got three images already and I normally go for three. Having said that, you might not have seen the third. Um, if it was really bad, I probably wouldn't have shown it, but um, anyway, you won't have seen it. But uh, I've taken three for the video so far. Um, all the time this morning, I was thinking that it would be nice to get a shot that would be of the standard that I would get when I was out photographing normally with my professional kit. And by, by that, I don't mean I would only get the shot because I had professional kit, but what I mean by that is find a subject that was of the standard that I would come to want to expect to find with my professional kit. Um, the other two images, especially the first one um, this morning, was all right. The second one with the uh, the leaf on the birch log, again, all right. This one has got the potential to be something a bit more special. Um, it's got nice shape and it's got nice colours associated with it. So I'll get, um, get this out now and I'll just show you. Let's put this on screen record. Was does this little countdown thing before it starts? Right. So we've got the camera now. Forgive my back. So you can see here, this is actually well. Let's let's just pull it out a little bit. So we've got a buckler fern that's in amongst this um, it's polytrichum mosses, which are really lovely. They photograph well just in their own right. But I love the way that this buckler fern. It's got this dark coloration to it. And if I go to on one times magnification and start to move that around, you can see a composition coming into shape. 
and uh, it's a case of excluding all these bits down here and just focusing on the, the, the nice strong diagonal and the strength of those fern fronds as they're sort of coming out amongst the um, Pull that out, coming out amongst the, the mosses. Really lovely. And you can already see a composition coming together there. Now if I just tap on the screen and pull the exposure down a bit, you can see it's it's getting a little bit more interesting. And I really like that. Let's darken it a little bit more. You can see those mosses now really picking out. I'm tempted to press the shutter at that because I think that's quite nice. Looking at it. Um, I can see one or two beech leaves peeping through the gaps, but they're they're quite complementary. The, the the colours are nice. They don't jar with the composition at all. Um, I suppose if there's one thing I would change, it's the stem is a little bit too bright. Um, but you know it is what it is sometimes. But uh, I really like that. Take another one, just for good luck. Let's go. I'm not so sure about this here, this end. I'm going to exclude those. Oops, darken it down again. And let's go with that. Hopefully, if that works out, I'm sure it will. I'm sure it's good enough for the video, so I'll put that on now. So I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to head back to the van and get myself uh, a nice warm drink. It's been an interesting one today, it's been nice to get out and not have the weight of the bag for a change and have the freedom of just being completely creative and reacting to whatever I see. Have I got any world beaters? Probably not. It's one or two of those images I really am quite hopeful for. Um, some experimental, some quite, some quite normal, but overall it was a really good morning with a, with a variety of images. The fog didn't materialise, so I wasn't able to get that broader scene sadly, but um, it's been a great morning nonetheless. So I'll put the images on in just a second. The important thing for you is that you give the channel a nice big thumbs up. The algorithm seems to love that sort of thing. If you've enjoyed the video today um, and you want to see more, I'm normally out and about with a, with a let's say, a normal camera, not a phone camera. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments below, let me, th let me know what you think of today's images and if you want to support the channel um, above and beyond the thumbs up, there's always YouTube and, pa YouTube, YouTube and Patreon membership um, where you can join those from as little as 99 pence per month. It really helps to support the channel. So until next time, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.